Okay, this one is about thermostat setbacks, specifically cooling setbacks. Now, I can go on for a long time about the different setbacks on uh, thermostats, wall thermostats, for residential. But uh, this one is just about cooling setbacks. And are they valuable? Uh, how far should you set it back? A few things like that I just kind of wanted to discuss. The difference, or there is a difference between cooling setbacks and heating setbacks. The furnace in your home is generally far more capable of heating your house up fast than the cooling system is to cooling it fast. Cooling takes longer. Plain and simply, that's just how it works. Uh, if I was to say in a, in a normal home I had a 100,000 BTU furnace, a 100,000 BTU air conditioner would be quite large. That would be, yeah, um, usually we go up to about five tons on residential, which is 60,000 BTUs, that's about the max. So there's a difference in what the setbacks do and how they work for cooling. Now, if I take, let's say I working, I'm working, uh, uh, and I leave for the day, then I, you know, ideally you should put a setback in there because you're not in the structure at the time, so why keep the temperature uh, like you would want it to be while you're there? Okay, I'm going to leave 8 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to set this uh, setback, 10 degrees, uh, Okay, when I get home at maybe 5 or 6 o'clock in the evening, this is uh, a little after what the maximum cooling load is probably going to be. It could be at the maximum depending on you know where you live and so on. So during the day, that house has been heating up. Okay. If the house has, uh, say, a lot of south-facing windows, west-facing windows especially, this thing's going to heat up pretty good. Okay, now when you come home, you're going to want to turn this thing down. Now, if you manually do it, certainly it's going to take two or three hours to cool down your house. Number one, it's operating at the absolute worst time that it could with the highest outside temperature and the highest load both on it so there is some efficiency loss in the equipment it would be better if it would was maintaining all day long so the system's going to be running somewhat less efficiently and it's going to take longer for it to bring it down now if you use a setback thermostat, you could set it so that, okay, it comes on early to, uh, to cool it down. It's still coming on at one of the highest temperature parts of the day. And it's not, uh, it's not the optimum time for it to come on. So I think there is a case to be made for no setbacks for cooling. Uh, here it again, it kind of depends on where you live. I used to live in the high desert of California and in high summer it was hot all the time. Uh, you could turn it on at 8 o'clock in the morning uh, and you still, you still needed cooling. So sometimes this is a little different. But if you shut it off during the day, you are allowing that structure to heat up at the highest temperature part of the day. So that's going to make it 
harder for it to cool down. Unlike heating systems, cooling systems actually do work harder at higher uh, uh, temperature differences. Uh, cool, heating systems don't. They turn on, uh, there's so many BTUs come out on, that's it. Cooling is an entirely different ball game because you're doing with you're dealing with uh, uh, compressors and head pressures and all these things that make a difference on the efficiency of the equipment. So I would say, in general, it's not a great idea to set back, at least during the day. Now, setbacks at night. Should you set it back at night? Okay, from a comfort point of view, heck no. <laughs> I come home honored heck from working all day, especially with where I work. I'd be working in HVAC, so I was on rooftop. I want to come home, and when I go to bed, I want to be comfortable. I'm not going to change the setback at night. Uh, it's going to be incredibly uncomfortable to do that, so I'm probably not going to do that either. So I'd like to hear what your thoughts are on it, whether you should set back during the day uh, with cooling or set back at night. Uh, you've seen what I thought, and let's see if there's any uh, differing opinions out there, and give me your reasons why, and maybe we'll discuss it further. That's it on this one.